changes in solid materials when bent and pressed. Hello kids! I know you have enjoyed our lesson last week about porous and non-porous materials, materials that float and sink, biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Before we proceed to our lesson this week, let's have a short review. Tell me whether the material is porous or non-porous. Plastic bag. That's right. Plastic bag is non-porous. Raincoat. Yes, raincoat is also non-porous. Tissue paper. Fabulous. Tissue paper is porous. How about float and sink? Twig. Yes, twig floats. Coins. That's right. Coins sink. How about plastic spoon? Fabulous. Plastic flo spoon floats. Biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Candy wrapper. Yes. Plastic candy wrapper is non-biodegradable. Banana peel. Very good. Banana peel is biodegradable. How about kangkong? That's right. Kangkong is biodegradable. In our lesson this week, you were expected to define bending and pressing. And describe and differentiate the changes in solid materials when pressed and bent. But of course, before you can do that, we need to perform or do the activities. These are the materials needed for activity 1, Bend Me, on page 4 of your module. First is plastic straw, metal fork, plastic ruler, wire, and bamboo stick. Okay, let's bend it one by one. When we say bending, it means to force an object from a straight form into a curve or angular one. Okay, these materials can be bent. Let's try this straw, this plastic straw. When we apply force in this plastic straw, again, the size and shape may change. But no new material is firm. Only the physical appearance changes. Next is this wire. Okay, let's apply force in this wire. Ayan. When we apply force in this wire, from straight, it turns into a curved uh, form. Ayan curve when we apply force this wire change its size and shape and its physical appearance next is this fork or metal fork but you should not bend plastic fork because it may be broken but this metal fork can be bent ayan when we bend the size the shape the physical appearance change but no new material is formed how about this plastic ruler plastic ruler can also be bent ayan you can turn it into curve and, but when you release it, it will turn into its same appearance. But this plastic ruler can be curved. Some plastic ruler, when you, especially those plastic that are brittle, when you uh, applied force, it may 
be break or broken. Okay, another one is this uh, bamboo stick. Bamboo stick also can be curved. Ayan. Can be bent. When you bend, it will turn from straight form into a curved one. Ayan. Okay. When force is applied into a long and thin solid materials, it can change its form into curve or angular one. Before we proceed to our next activity, I want you to record your observation in the observation table on page 4 of your module. Okay, you can now answer the guide questions. Number 1. Describe the solid materials before bending. 2. Describe the appearance of the plastic straw and the rest of the materials after bending. Number 3. What properties of solid materials changed after bending? Is it size, shape, color, or texture? Number 4. What did you apply to bend the solid materials? Force or pressure? Okay, we will now proceed to activity number two. Impress me on page five of your module. These are the materials needed. Plastic or paper cup. Pandesal. Banana. And pillow. And wrinkled cloth. We will use this heavy empty cup to press each of these materials okay first is this pillow observe this pillow the the place where there is pressure is thinner than the part where there is no pressure okay next is this paper cup Let's apply pressure to this paper cup. Okay, after applying pressure, the texture, the size, and shape change. Next is this pandesal. Okay, let's observe this pandesal before applying pressure. Okay, after applying pressure to the pandesal, what happened? It become thinner, thin. Next is this banana. What will happen to this banana when we apply pressure? Observe. Ayan. When we apply pressure to the banana, the shape, texture, change. Okay. Wrinkled cloth when pressed with hot iron will change from being wrinkled into smooth and fine texture. When pressure or weight is applied to a material, causing it to flatten or smoothen is called pressing. The process of pressing is used in accomplishing household chores like ironing clothes, cooking, and cleaning our house. Bending uses force while pressing uses pressure. Enjoy learning!